All right. So today I'm going to give a demonstration on how to create the round oak and how to make it match up to the rubric as best we possibly can. Okay. Number three on the rubric says my curve is exactly the correct length. The length of your rubric or your length of your round over refers to this line right here. That's the line that your that your curve goes all the way to that line. Okay, that's the line. The first thing you're going to do when you're creating your round over is to draw that line. And then when you're making that curve, you're going to try to hit that line. Okay? Line number four on your on your rubric is my curve continues all the way to the bottom, and that refers to this line right down here. So lines three and four refer to whether or not you start at this spot and go to this spot and, and are nice two, three, and four, or whether or not you evenly hit this line and go all the way down and evenly hit this line. That's lines two, three, and four on the rubric. Okay? So in order to get number three right, you need to start out by drawing a line for you to work to. And you're going to put your board, one of your other boards, right on the line. And you're going to draw that line over here like that. So that this distance is the same as that distance is your goal. Okay? So now I have a line that I can curve from this line to this line. And that's, that's where this, this curve should land. Okay? Now I'm going to draw the curves on the side here. To do that, you should put your, your wood in a vise. The reason for that is so you can hold the template board, I think I call it. Yes, a template board and a pencil, and you don't have to worry about your other board moving around. So I'm going to use this to carefully draw the curve as best I can. Trying to create a curve that starts at this line and goes down to that corner. I'm going to flip it around and do the same thing on this side. It's not necessarily as easy as it looks, so take your time. Don't be, don't be in a hurry. Take your time. And your goal is to have this curve that touches that line and that corner. Now there's a bar in the bottom of this vise here. I want your board against that. It helps to stabilize things. It helps to keep this thing from moving. If you have this up in the vise like this, you're more likely to be moving around. Put it down against that bar and tighten it down and you're more secure. When you're trying to pick out a hand plane, Bring it to me so that I can check it for you and make sure that it's nice and sharp. Okay, and I'll do a little sample. I'll have a board up there that I'll be checking to make sure that it works right. And if it works right, great. I'll, hand, I'll, I'll say, yeah. If not, I might make adjustments or I might just send you to go get another one. All right. Right now, I'm going to try to remove the wood from this spot right here, and I'm not going to hit this corner. I'm going to be moving this way, going across this direction, going over the end of the board. Okay? But I'm not going to hit this corner. If I did, it would rip that corner off and it would just tear a big chunk off that side. Because this is basically an extremely rough file is what it's like. And if I go all the way across, it's going to chunk off that little side. So my goal is to remove the wood from over here and never touch that side. I'm also never going to hit this file against that edge there because that would rip up the bottom edge there too. All right, so. Short little strokes. I'm creating this kind of triangular shape. And I'm watching this line. My, my eyes are on this line right here, which looks like that line over there, as I remove most of my wood. But I'm not going to go all the way down to the line, because I'll do that later. In the end, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for most of the way down to the line, and we're looking for this triangular shape here. Where you never hit that side, and you never hit that corner. Okay? That's what we're looking for. Then you're gonna flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. This time is a little harder to see. You gotta get down underneath here to see it. Still, once again, going off the edge of the board, trying to remove most of the wood. 
myself most of the way down to that line. Okay, and now I'm gonna try to remove some wood from the middle. Still trying to avoid hitting that edge. Until I've removed most of my wood and it's fairly even across. I have not hit that line there or this line here. I've never hit that because that would just rip that whole bottom off. While going this way, I never hit that line. While going this way, I never hit this line. Okay, that's my goal at this point. Next, heavy file. Do you know what that looks like, Johan? I'm gonna go grab the heavy file, please. Okay, this is yeah. I this is the most ideal one. It's red and it's got nice and wide and it's very rough. Alright, so now I'm gonna do the same thing I did before, except I'm gonna be using a file. And my goal is to get from this line to that line or close to it. I'm really gonna want to go there with the smooth file later. But I'm trying to create a nice even curve. And I can look at the curve from my drawing. Notice that I'm not hitting that edge and I'm not going against that edge either because it will rip out that side. I'm, all, I'm not pushing down very hard because it's a pretty rough file. Switch to the other side. here. There's a little bit of a flat spot right here next to that line. I'm going to try to blend it, blend it to that line. I'm going to be real careful up here. This is where you're going to get the chip outs. Line number six on your rubric says, I have no chip outs. I have small chip outs. I have large chip outs. This is where you're getting those chip outs. The chip outs are going to come because you hit right against that edge with a rough file or against that edge with a rough file. All right, at this point is when you're gonna come out with, try to move over there and see if you can look at it from the side, whether or not you have, how much light you're showing here. This is actually really pretty good. I got it kind of in one. It's not quite 100%. There's some area right here I'm gonna to try to remove. As I try to get this as close as I can to this line. If you get it anywhere near here, you're doing really well. I've got skills, I've been doing this a while, so. If you get anywhere near here, you're doing pretty well. Okay? So at this point, you would take a smooth file and you would file all the way down. Somebody grab me a smooth file. You want to go right down to that line. Making sure that you hit right on that line. With a smooth file, you can be a little bit more, a little less worried about chipping out. You want to go right to that line. Because later on, when you're getting that grade, you're going to want that to be hitting that line. You want to be nice and square, which is line number two. And you want to be exactly to that line. so that you can get line number three. And you can use hand sandpaper at this point to try to smooth it out and make it absolutely perfect. Okay, there's your demonstration, thank you very much.